Animal Crossing Twitter is straight wild. Perfection. There's been a lot of hilarious and weird clips that people have been sharing, and just crazy town builds even though the game has only been out for a week, and what happens is, it just gets massively shared. We have 100,000 likes on this one, 36,000 retweets, almost a million views, and some of the other ones I've seen as well, almost a million likes, with 13.1 million views. Animal Crossing Twitter is something else, because even if you're not into Animal Crossing, these clips, whatever's going on in this game, is just weird and hilarious. Like this right here. Alright, see a bug? Gonna just go and snatch this thing up really quick, and... Oh. That, that's possible in Animal Crossing. That's effectively why Animal Crossing Twitter has been so successful and crazy viral, because it's just Animal Crossing. You're supposed to have a fun relaxed island life and there's so many weird things in the game that people have discovered in such a short amount of time that it's just crazy that happened is the summary of a lot of what's going on with animal crossing clips and highlights and stuff like who who would have thought that that would just be a thing it's like all right i'm going to get a bug and ruined Thanks, villager. And I've seen like a dozen of just B fails either in single player or just from other people where it's like, oh, I have a friend on an island. That makes it easier, right? And then they're just completely bad and miss everything. Like, he tried. You you can't say he didn't try. I, I think it was a little BM to just like throw the net at the end because like they're already being attacked. That's just comedy right there. But, you know, it's like, oh, where's the net? Come on, gotta get the net. And just, no, not like that. However, there's also some incredible times there's just magical success in the game. That happened. What? I I didn't think that was possible. That's just... Is, is that luck? Is that skill? Is that intended? Can you re recreate that? Because that just seemed like... Oh, uh, do, the, do the thing. Grab it. All right. Beasting averted from just pure skill. Accidental skill, but still skill. It's like, how, much, how many times can you do that out of 100? It... There's just some crazy stuff going on. And then we can get into Animal Crossing. Somehow I managed to be bad at this game. It's a casual, chill game. How can you be bad at it? Well, for starters, spiders. Spiders have so many memes around them in Animal Crossing. Whether you're farming a ton of them or getting those fails on. Wait, he got the spider. That dude had the skill. Nope, it's a moth. Very unlucky. Spider's just waiting and insta-KO. That happened. That's a magical level of, like, that just, it just seems impossible. It just seems like that should not have happened the way that it did. But unlucky, it's like, alright, get in the spacing, pay attention to the moth. Big unlucky. But it's there. I also find the whole thing about Tarantula Island pretty funny because a lot of kids are getting wrecked by it, but a lot of people are also super optimizing it. Like, if you just place holes around where the tarantulas spawn, you get easy catches, and then in a night you can just fill up your inventory with tarantulas, and that's several hundred thousand bells, no time skipping, no any kind of glitches or exploits, just like one of the craziest ways to make money straight up. So that's, you might just see tons and tons and dozens and hundreds of posts about people looking for and having success on Tarantula Island, but what if we raise them Shark Island? Tarantula Island's like 400,000 bells, like 440,000 bells or something. With this, Shark Island, 525,000 bells, and you don't have to do any kind of like weird stuff with digging the holes and setting it up and then catching all the tarantula that way. Just catch fish, and they're all sharks. What? Yep, all ocean fish were sharks, and at a minimum, it was a sucker fish, which is still worth 1,500 bells. And apparently, this is just like the rare islands. You know, we got Rose Islands, we got Money Islands, Tarantula Islands, Shark Islands. Apparently, it's in the shape of a fin. So, yeah, I believe it was described on site as a dorsal fin shaped island. You do that, you find that shark island, make sure you go fishing and test the waters. If you catch a sucker fish, then you might just keep going until you get sharks, and... Shark Island is a thing. Tarantula Island's a thing. People are doing crazy stuff in Animal Crossing, and the game's been out for only a week.
And then we can get into the build. Actually, no, let's let's do this one first. This is like the very impressive one. As you can see, 100,000 likes, 1 million views, and just a friend's house. Again, this is what people have accomplished in just a week. The game's only been out for a week. I don't care about time travel, whatever, when people are still building this. That is opulence. That is a vision. That's dope. It feels like I'm about ready to challenge the Elite Four in Pokemon. So even has a nice little island set up. You got the bonfire going on, but that waterfall path is crazy. And he's built his dream mansion. You got the sick LED outdoor pool. You got a little barbecue area over here. So nice. That's that's where you host parties. That's how you do it. And then just this. Wow. Like I can't imagine the work. But it, it seems like once you get that idea. You just kind of do it, you can make it happen. So there's also like a lot of design inspiration, there's a lot of ideas that you can apply, but it takes a long time. Like that's the only, that's one of my biggest frustrations I have with Animal Crossing New Horizons, is that like building water, or like doing water working, or building the cliffs and stuff, takes so long because you just can't mass do it. So that was all done by hand, couple second increments at a time, and damn, that's pretty cool. Now, this one isn't as insane, 2.2 thousand likes, you know, only 20 thousand, only 20 thousand views, but that just kind of shows, like, if you make something neat, you're going to get traction on Animal Crossing Twitter. So we have an epic bamboo garden, and then we have a really nice theme going on, fun little bridge over into it. That just looks good. That just looks good. That's, that's seven days in, and it's only going to get better. It's only going to get more insane, but some people have already set the buy, bu not the buy, the bar, impossibly high. Wait, 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 let's take stock. 200,000 likes, 3 million views, dude's already built a city. Forget the town. Forget the humble town of Animal Crossing. That's a straight up city. Dude's got streets and walkways and paths and has a nice layout. He's got a grid, guys. He has a grid. Th those are poles for electricity, vending machines, recycle bins, there's a nice little ghetto park over there. I, that's insane to like think that someone was able to figure it out so fast and just make it work inside of Animal Crossing and everything like there's the storefront, there's a little parking area. That's the nice wall that they have set up for it. Someone was able to think that through and apply it already and it's only gonna keep going. And according to this Japanese guy, it's just infrastructure fun. Asians OP. Then there's also just been some other really cool things that people have been building. This is on the Animal Crossing Reddit. Animal Crossing Reddit, usually those top posts are pretty good, but I mean, that's, that's like perfect. That's like the perfect way to show off your museum, especially once you complete and 100% that museum. But the waterfall features, there's a lot of potential here. There's kind of flowing waterfalls stacking on top of each other like that. What gets me is even having the skeleton in the background. So. Tyrannosaurus fossil right there with everything else looks good even a fountain that that's that's how you show it off I don't know what the rest of the village looks around like that but I mean that's a centerpiece that's why I got 7,000 upvotes and then we just got some helpful stuff so that's another thing that people are making and splashing around that's just working really well with Animal Crossing it, it's really a shame when you see someone like post an epic design but they don't give the QR code which is also like its own meme because it's just like harassing people for QR codes but here's just something to add into your Animal Crossing world and something wonderful that people came up with. These tree markers have been incredibly helpful on my island. I think the Bells one is like the most helpful. Like if you if you just have that, if you have that saved in your custom and then you find a bell tree and you plant it down, you immediately just drop that on the floor. It's like, all right, that's going to be a bell tree in a few days when it grows. And then just as you're harvesting fruits, if you're actively harvesting a lot of fruits, you might lose track of what's where and it just looks cool. Like, especially maybe if you just do a painting as well. Like, you have one of those easel painting things set up, so it looks like a little, mar like, post marker that you would find in a real garden. And it's like, this is the peach. Or the row. You can just use it to, like, identify a row of trees, have your own orchard. So, that's the limitless potential of Animal Crossing that has all, like, already been discovered. And it's only going to get crazier, and it's only going to get better from here. People are making cities in Animal Crossing. People are making crazy houses. People are just going nuts with their ultimate rich person billionaire dream luxury plans. It's like, that's wealth. That's wealth right there. That's a that's wealth of, in like that's wealth of creativity, and that's just wealth of how that would be in real life. And then crazy gameplay. People and their spiders. People and their bees. People and their friends and their bugs and stuff. 
Animal Crossing has just been wonderful, and it's only going to get crazier from here as you just kind of keep turning around, seeing like, oh, it's another 10,000, 20,000, 500,000 likes. Like I said, if you if you got any really cool clips, drop them in the description, not the description, drop them in the comments section down below. I'll go and check out some other ones. I can't remember, like, I, I didn't think about this video until it was too late. I was like, oh, I should have probably been, like, archiving these. I should have been paying more attention because this is some really cool stuff. And it's only going to get better. What happens when the non-time -tra travelers keep get, like get caught up with everyone? That's gonna be nuts. So, you guys, enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.